Hey everyone, it's Adri here and I would like to welcome you or welcome you back to my little corner of the internet, Adri's Corner. As you can see, today we're going to be doing my paycheck budget breakdown and cash stuffing for my fourth paycheck in September. If you enjoy budgeting, cash stuffing videos, vlogs occasionally, decorate or clean with me type of videos, and frankly a lot of other stuff in between, then feel free to stick around, see if you like this video, and subscribe if you are inclined to do so. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop right into the video. Alrighty, so let me go ahead and write down number four, the date of 927, because that was my recent um, check. And then we're going to go ahead and write my total for this week that we're going to be working with. And that will be 290.13. And that was the total income for this past week. Okay, so as far as expenses goes, this week I have to give my monthly contribution to the household as well as pay my Amex or American Express credit card. So let me go ahead and write down those two expenses. So. I just put it as rent and Amex. And this is due on the first of the month. It's the first of the month. Well, not really, but it's due on the first of the month. <laughs> and then Amex is due on the 29th of September. Alrighty, so Amex is 131 and the monthly contribution is 100. So let's go ahead and add up these two because these are the only expenses for this this pay period. So let's get the total for those. That would be 100 plus 131, and that gives us 231. So that will be the total. And then we're going to minus that from the 290.13 to get our remaining amount so that we can divvy it up in the cash envelopes or cash dividers. So let's go ahead and do that. That's 290.13 minus the 231. And that leaves us with 59.13. So now let's move on to my cash dividers or cash envelopes as some people call them. This is what I use to spend throughout the week. So let me go ahead and write down my categories, play my theme song, and I'll be right back. Play the theme song. Alrighty, perfect. So I have those categories written down. So now let's go through and divvy up this 5913 between these dividers to see how much I'm going to be spending for this week. So for toiletries, I don't need anything. So we're just going to put zero in that category. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Had a little something in my throat there. <laughs> so gas is going to get the usual 30. So I'm going to write down 30 right here. And that's going to be 820 and a 10. So for groceries this week, I'm just going to give myself 14 to top off on some grains. I'm good with meat. I was able to actually purchase a lot of meat this past pay period and I have still some left over that will last me this week as well. And I just pretty much just need grains and legumes to be able to make meals this week. And I already have like my breakfast um, item already selected. I do create egg egg white bites so the same bites that you'll probably get from starbucks but i just save money and make those at home i actually have that recipe filmed i'm gonna be editing that real soon to get that up to you guys only thing is that i filmed it not horizontally but vertically <laughs> i filmed it that way so it can be posted in both tiktok and youtube shorts because i am thinking of starting up a tiktok so just a fair reminder for that i know my videos are used to being horizontal and not vertical so if you see my video or that video in particular in vertical form it's because i also wanted to like double dip and post it as a youtube short as well as a tiktok video so so keep a lookout for that so all that to say this week i'm going to divvy up 14 for groceries and that's going to be a 10 and four ones I believe I have a couple of dollars left over from last week, which I'll also add to this. And then for baby, she's gonna get her usual 15. And that's gonna be a 10 and a five. And as far as the rest of the categories, eating out, spending, and blessings, those all those will all receive zero this week. So let's go ahead and write that. 
and we are all ready to go with the cash divider. So let me go ahead and add up these three categories, get the total, and then minus it from this to see if we reached a zero base budget or if we have a little bit left over to add to our buffer. So let's see, we have 30 plus 14 plus 15, and that is the full $59. <laughs> so that total is gonna be 59, which means we have 13 cents left over. And that'll just be put in the buffer section right here. No breakdown needed for that. We're not taking that out of the bank. <laughs> and now if I put 13 as the total, because that's the only total from this section, it shall give me a zero base budget. So we were able to do it again and have every single dollar have a job. So now let's go through each category, see each denomination that I need how many hundreds and how many twenties and so on and so forth. So let me go through. So because I need my monthly contribution, I'm gonna need to take out a hundred dollar bill. So let me put a tally for that one down here. For twenties, I only need one in the gas section. So I'm gonna put one tally for that and put a number one there. For tens, I need a couple of more of those. So I need one, two, and three. So I'm gonna put three tallies here and put a number three here. And then I have a five needed as well as four ones. So I'm just gonna put a tally for the five and then four tallies for the ones. And a number four there. Alrighty, perfect. So let's see how much I'm gonna be taking out this week from the bazank. So let me go ahead and add up the rent contribution as well as these to see how much my total toy of draw this week is. Or actually, I can just go through here and add up these to see how much I'm withdrawing. So let's do that. So we have one $100 bill plus one $20 bill plus three tens. So one, two, and three plus a five plus four ones. So then we have plus one, plus one, plus one, and plus one. So that gives us 159. And that sounds about right because I have the 100 from this category as well as 59 from here. So that gives us 159 that we're going to be working with this week. So as always, I'm just going to go ahead and write these denominations down on a piece of paper, head over to the bank, get that sh money and that cheddar, and I'll be right back. And just like that, we are back from the bizank and we have our moolah right here as well as our two helpers that are saving my coins for me this year, Callie the Coin Collector and Mr. Banks the Copper King. And as always, before we can stuff, actually, wrong way, before we can stuff, we have to unstuff. <laughs> so let me go ahead and look in my wallet to see if I have any change left over. I'm not sure if I have change left over this time because I was using a good amount of it. So let me go ahead and take out my dividers. And, oh, I'm surprised, I do have a little bit left in change because I was reusing my change a lot this past week. Let me go ahead and put my wallet to the side along with all these receipts that I need to fetch. And my fetch code is always down below as well as displayed across the screen. If you don't know what fetch is, I'm sorry to all my subscribers already, but they should know this feel by now. Um, if you don't know what fetch is, it's pretty much an app where you can scan your receipts. Those receipts turned into points which accumulate to gift cards to a lot of places. So if you haven't heard about Fetch and this is the first time you're watching a cash budgeting video or my video in general, I always have my description, oop, I always have my code in the description box down below as well as displayed across the screen at some point in my videos. So if you're interested in joining, you can go ahead and download the app and scan your first receipt so you can receive your first 2000 points. And in return, I also get 2000 points. So if you're interested, it's not an obligation, it's just a way to save money and get some extra coin out here. So be my guest and use my code, so. <laughs> Alrighty, so I do have some change left over. I have a couple of coppers, so let's put that in Mr. Copper King. And I have a couple of silvers, which go into Cali. Alrighty, now these two little lovely beings will move on. And now let's go ahead and count up this cash to make sure that we weren't gypped from the bank. So we should have 159, so let's make sure that's correct. We have 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, and 59. Perfect. 
So now, before I go ahead and divvy this money in these dividers, I'm gonna go ahead and spread out my money right here so it can be all organized and I'll be right back. Play the theme song again. Oh, snaps, I got all the bills. That only happens once on every occasion at this point. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go through my dividers and put the money in there. So we have toiletries. Like I said before, that's not getting anything. I am good to go in that department. Gas is getting the usual 30, so goodbye 20. <laughs> and I'm taking a 10, so that's 20 and 30. And how is gas for you guys in your region? Gas is slowly but surely has gone down. I use my shell rewards to get like an extra five cents off of each gallon when I go ahead and do gas. But how is gas in your guys' towns? Comment down below. Has it gone down or is it still the same? Is it still killing you? <laughs> but I'm interested, I'm interested to know that. So groceries, like I said before, is getting 14. So that's gonna be all these fours over here with the 10. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then I did have some coin or some bills left over from last week, which I will add in together. So let's count to see how much we have in total. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So perfect. I took a little bit out of my buffer to be able to help me out with last week's groceries. And then for a baby, she gets her usual 15. So that's 10 and 15. Eating out, like I said before, is not a blessings, nothing tips and back to the bank is also nothing. So let me go ahead and grab my wallet and put these in there. Alrighty, and those go in like so. So I am nice and prepared for the rest of this week. So let's push this away. Technical difficulties. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put that away before I drop it again, so yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, and then we have this lone little $100 bill, which is going to go in my bill binder. It was my savings challenge as well as bill binder, but we all know how that turned out. And, well, I'm still using it as my savings challenge binder. If I'm able to stuff it, I do. If I don't, I'm not able to, and that's completely fine. So I have my last 100 and that's going in my monthly contribution. Just to wait right here until this weekend where I have to hand it in. So, yeah. Let's go on to my outro. Alrighty, there we have it. Another week, another cash stuffing. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. If you feel so inclined to do so, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And also turn your notifications on because I realize I have not been saying that throughout the entirety of my YouTube channel. So go ahead and turn those notifications on so you're always on alert to when I post my videos. And as always, please comment down below how you guys are doing with inflation times. I know fall is around, well, fall is here. I was about to say fall is around the corner. Um, I think I mean, I mean to say that Christmas is really around the corner. Like after, once we get to like October, Halloween hits and then Thanksgiving hits right behind it and then Christmas hits right behind it. So I already know the end of the year is gonna flow really, really quickly. And I just wanna know, are you guys stuffing for like Thanksgiving and for Christmas? Do you guys plan on purchasing gifts this year or is it gonna be one of those situations where you kinda of have to look at family and be like, hey, only some of y'all are getting stuff, some of y'all are not, only the children are gonna receive presents this year. How are you guys doing with everything and inflation? I'm nosy, so I wanna know what's going on with the fam. So comment down below how you guys are doing, any tips and tricks you have for saving money while grocery shopping or just tips and chips, tips and chips? Oh, someone's hungry. <laughs> Tips and tricks that you guys have to help with your budgeting or your cash stuffing journey. And yeah, just comment down below how you guys are doing. I'm always nosy and I always want to know. So chat on, chat on and type on. <laughs> so again, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, because I do want to get to 500 subscribers or on the off chance hit 1K before the end of this year. So please do that. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, stay grateful, stay motivated, 
and grab your little bits and pieces of happiness from wherever you can and I'll see you right back here in my little corner of the internet, Adri's Corner. <laughs> Bye guys.